What do you think most people get wrong about motivation? They think it's a permanent fix. They think it's something that that is a constant. They think that maybe once I get it, I'm going to hold on to it. And that's the thing about that I was telling you, that I always talk about, it's nothing is permanent. Nothing is permanent. And a lot of times you have to learn to perform without motivation. You have to learn to perform without purpose. You have to learn to perform a lot of different things. And that's what people think. They think I need to have this motivation to work out, to study, to be better. So if they don't have it, they just don't fucking do it. And that's where you fail. You have to learn to train your mind well beyond motivation. If you have motivation, that's great. That's some kindling to the fire. All it takes is a little bit of fucking spark. You can burn a whole forest up. But motivation, you have to learn to exist without it. You have to learn to be, you have to be your best self when you're least motivated. And that's the tricky part about all that shit. Motivation is just a word. You have to have these different things in your mind on where you want to go and know that motivation is not going to get me there because I'm not going to always be motivated. Jocko said the exact same thing. He said that discipline eats motivation for breakfast. And discipline is good too. But without a clear headspace, there's no discipline. What do you mean? So let's say we have a circuit breaker, okay? And I'm loading everything up to one fucking circuit. Just load it up. It's going to fucking blow. And once that thing blows, man, the circuit's all fucked up. You got to have each thing plugged into the right spot, like a fucking crowded garage. You can't put anything in it. Once your brain is crowded, discipline is great. Motivation is great. But if you can't fit shit in your brain because it's all fucking cluttered with shit, there's no discipline. You may have it sometimes when it fits in that crowded garage of your mind, but you don't have the consistency that you need to have with that discipline. So what are you talking about here? Are you saying doing self-work and reflecting on you as an individual? Are you so doing therapy? I call, it, I call it my, I call it mental zones. I don't get into it much because it would be here all day. But basically, is you're organizing your mind so you can put that discipline. So a lot of people talk about discipline. Okay, great. Why do you fall off the fucking wagon? Why can't I continue with this routine? Going to the gym, being better, waking up early, eating the right foods. It's because maybe it's your kids, maybe it's your wife, maybe it's your job. And it's all just stuffed in your fucking brain. You don't have it compartmentalized and organized in these nice shelves. Like you look in a garage, it's all fucking a nice organized militant garage. Hey, where are my dumbbells? Right there. A lot of people whose brain, hey, where's my dumbbells? Uh, Let me look. They're fucking throwing shit. They're looking through totes. They're all fucked up. So where am I going to put discipline in that mind if I can't find other shit? You got to be able to find all these different things in your mind. Oh, I can put discipline right there. I can put consistency right there. I can put all these things right there in that spot. So that's what I'm talking about. If your life is not organized and your life being everything around you, because it takes one little fucked up piece of an outside interference to clutter your whole mind because it's on such a knife edge that's right and people don't get that your mind has to always be clear that's why i'm that's why i meditate two hours every single night because i refresh i reorganize the garage which is my mind every night so then discipline's in there organization everything is in this right spot so when i wake up i'm ready to go 